is Christian life. What is it to live a Christian life? Because being a Christian, as we said Friday night in the Bible study, it's not just a prayer. Prayer starts it. But being a Christian is a lifelong thing. It starts, but it doesn't end. Amen. Ever. Amen. Ever. Ever. Right? Ever. Amen. Ever. Being a Christian is not just a prayer. Being a Christian means that there are several things that as a Christian. First of all, is it easy being a Christian? No. I don't think so. No. But it's easier than the alternative. Yes. yes. Yeah. Christ said, my burden is easy and my yoke is light. In other words, you might not like all of the things that a Christian is supposed to do, but it's better than the alternative. Yeah. It's better than what the devil would do to tear you up if you don't. You see, a lot of people say, well, I don't want to have all those Ten Commandments. You guys are Christians. You have rules. Praise God for the rules. Because it's like, it's like we walk a white path. And that path has a fence on both sides that we're not supposed to pass. And as long as we walk that white path, following the laws of God, then we don't have to worry about the lions, the tigers, and the bears. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You hear me? Amen. Because the devils walk about. Yeah. Come on. We may Seeking. Who we may devour. They're trying to tear you up. Yeah. They're trying to tear me up. That's all they do. That's what they do. That's why they were made after they fall anyway. <laughs> Before they fell, they were certain Lord. But after the fall, that's what they do. That's all I do. Walk about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Okay, but who can he devour? He devours the ones on this side and the ones on that side. But he can't touch us Amen. because the Bible says... Yes that he puts a hedge of protection around us so that through our prayers we can quench all the fiery darts of the devil. Amen. Right? Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, blood but against flesh and blood, but against, come on, principalities, powers, 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 powers and rulers of darkness, darkness and evil in high places. places. See, in the natural, we want to say, <laughs> Obama. <laughs> but the truth is, the problem is above Obama. Amen. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Spiritual. Okay? In the natural, we want to say, I don't like those laws they're doing. But we have to understand that when we are on the white path, when we're following God, and He is well pleased in us, and we have virtue, like Prophet Leslie was saying this morning, we have that virtue, then the principalities and the powers are subject to us. Amen. Amen. Because where are they? Under our, under our feet. feet. The Bible says they're right under our feet. Yeah. Yeah. But we can't say, okay, it's Sunday morning. Here I am, Lord. Monday. Okay, we, we can't be over here. Okay, right. Because then if we visit over there, then the rest of the week... We've, oh, we've broken down that fence by our own choice. Mm -hmm. And then the devils can come in to kill, steal, and destroy. Mm -hmm. Give me a little bit more volume. I feel like I almost have to holler. Being a Christian with the prayer, not only does it wash our sins away, but what it does is we have to make a commitment. Now, whether we like it or don't, believe it or not, understand it or not, we were supposed to have made a commitment. In my life, I sat down one day, having made a mess of my life, and I said, Lord, I lived my life the way I wanted to, and I've made a mess of it, but here's the deal. If you'll forgive me. This is your prayer, too. Yes. At some point, everybody got to pray this prayer, right? you got to make a covenant with God. You have to make an agreement with God. But if you'll forgive me, if you'll give me another chance, Yes. That's right, from here on out. I'll read your book. That's what it is. Now, come on, this is Christianity, okay? Yes. I'll read your book. Yes. I'll follow your book. Amen. And I'll do all I possibly can, can to please you. Amen. It means that we become a soldier. Yes. 
Because whether we realize it or not at that moment, and a lot of times we didn't when we prayed that first prayer. But whether we realize it or not, we just joined the battle. Yes. Yeah. We just became a soldier in God's army. Yeah. And if we don't understand that there's a war, yeah. we're losing right. that yeah. war. Yes. Do you know there's a war out there? Yes. Yes. Do you know that the devil wants your soul? Yes. Just yes. like with uh, mm -hmm. Peter, Jesus said, the devil has desired to sift you mm -hmm. as wheat. Mm -hmm. But I have prayed for you. Are you praying every day? I'm not talking about thank you for this food prayers. Yes, those too. I'm talking about them serious kind of prayers. Yeah, yeah. Because you understand you're in a battle. You're in a war. Amen. I was driving down the road. I was up in McKinney. And I, I heard this little still small voice. And it said, someone's about to pull out in front of you. So I heightened my awareness. I slowed down a little bit. Sure enough, a pick up truck pulled right out in front of me. Praise the Lord. That's our God. Amen. Amen. Now that doesn't happen because we're over here playing in the lions and the tigers and the bears. <laughs> yeah, you didn't hear me. That, that, we don't want to do that, right? Okay. I remember I was heading to Racket Paul. I told you about it probably six months ago. And all of a sudden... With the, there was cars here I could not see. And then I was on the inside lane. There was three lanes. It was up on exchange. And about this time, this car pulled left right in front of me. I mean, and I have, with all of the speed, with all of the strength, with everything I had, my foot is moving with full force to the brake. And it's, but at the same time, since the car pulled in front of me, I thought, okay, airbags are about to go off <laughs> because there is no way I'm going to miss this car. And all of a sudden, it was as if an angel was right in front of me and put his hand out slowly and just stopped that car inches, or stopped my car inches before it hit the other car that had pulled out. Of course, they would have got the ticket. But I'm saying, brothers and sisters, that doesn't come with a prayer. That comes with a lifestyle. Amen. Now, please, I'm not trying to lift myself up because there ain't no glory going to nobody here but the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Right. Okay? Yes, it happens because we said, from here on out, from here on out, not a sometimes, <laughs> not a once in a while thing, from here on out. It means that when the devils come into the church like we've been hearing from the prophet this morning, yeah. we say, from here on out. Amen. Amen. From here on out. I'm not going to fall. I'm not going to I'm not going to go that direction. Amen. Christianity means that God is first. Amen. It means that, yeah, we try to make the Bible study best we can. And that's good because, you know, there's a lot of good things happening. But we have a Friday, by the way, I told you that we have Friday night bites. <laughs> it's probably a good time for a commercial. <laughs> Starts at 6.30, goes to 8 p.m. And we do something real unusual on our Bible study. We read the Bible. We read the Bible. <laughs> now, that doesn't seem too complicated. But, you know, sometimes in Bible studies you get more cake and ice cream and you get Bible. Sometimes you get people reading all these other Christian books other than the Bible. I don't have a problem with reading good Christian books. Well, of course, these days. Maybe I shouldn't even say I don't have a problem with this. There's so much. Uh, anyway. I've read a couple. <laughs> there are some good Christian books out there. But, yeah, we try to make it a Bible study. But if we don't, we still find time to read our Bible. Yeah. Why? I already read it once, Dan. I've read it once too. But you know, we're going back through numbers and it's almost like, yeah. I haven't read this before. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know about you, yeah. but I, I know with us male counterparts, we have an auto-delete on our hard drive. <laughs> Whether we want to or not, it's going out there and systematically deleting things all the time. If we don't have to rewrite it down there, then it deletes it, right? We forget it. That's not you? I'm not talking to you. I know the lady. See, they always remember that. It was three years ago, January 21st, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It was snowing. It was about 32 degrees that day. And you said, 
Wow. I'll never forget it, man. First time I got that kind of accuracy whipped on me is like, you know, I can't remember what I had for lunch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, remember that stuff, like Leslie was saying this morning. We're driving down the road, been going down the road an hour. What are you thinking? I mean, right now, just right then. What, just as, what were you thinking just right then? Nothing. Why? You mean you weren't thinking anything? No, I do that all the time. <laughs> Matter of fact, I can go for hours without thinking of a thing. <laughs> I think it's kind of good. Just go into neutral. It's called peace. <laughs> That's, God's God. yeah, That's right. That's <laughs> right. But, but see, men can't get it in gear sometimes, and women can't get it out of gear. Last night, last night, Leslie says, come in here and get me to sleep. What I have to do? <laughs> it goes on autopilot. That's good. You've been doing it for a while. <laughs> the left side, too. You're laying on the left side. I have to scratch the side she's laying on, too. But if Mama's not happy... <laughs> Nobody's happy. Nobody's happy. Nobody's happy. Yeah. That's right. That's so true. That's so true. <laughs> Being a Christian is not a Sunday thing. It's not a sometimes thing. It's not a prayer thing. It's not even just reading your Bible. Thing. Yeah. It's a way of life. Amen. A good Christian is on a regular basis. We're reading the Word. Oh, pastor says we need to read the Word. No, no, no. We read the Word because we love what it does yeah. for us. Amen. We read the Word so that the devil cannot trick us. Amen. Right. Because we know the Bible is the only place on this planet we can go to get 100% truth. Amen. Amen. It's, it's, like, it's like when I, was a, when I was a kid, we started playing. My, my brother says, let's play Monopoly. Well, we're into playing Monopoly, and he says, oh, no, you can't do that. I said, man, that don't sound right. Well, he keeps winning all the Monopoly games. Finally, I decided to read the rules. <laughs> Come find out several things he'd been telling me not accurate. Now, he wasn't trying to be mischievous or, or evil or anything like that. It's just that he hadn't read the rules either. And see, here's the thing. is the devil is walking about seeking who he may desire, de devour, mm -hmm. devour. And if we haven't read the rule book, then he says, oh, no, I get to land on park place three times before I have to pay any rent. <laughs> <laughs> and you're saying, oh, okay. Wow. We haven't read the rule book, yeah. and we say, no, 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 I, just because I hadn't landed on boardwalk, say, I have park place. Just because I hadn't landed, because I have park place, I get to go ahead and buy a boardwalk. I don't have to land on it. No. <laughs> and we're going, oh, okay. Okay. See, the devil, he's lying to us all the time. Mm -hmm. We read the rule book so that we can win. Amen. We read the rule book so that when he comes to us with lies, yeah. we can say, that's a lie. Yeah. Matter of fact, I had a phone call this week. This guy calls my name, says, uh, I, have, uh, I, I need information to send you a certified check. <laughs> I said, and how much? He said 2.5 million. And I said, and uh, what else goes with it? He said, a Mercedes, a brand new Mercedes. And I said, okay, go ahead and send it to me. No, 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 I got to bring it to you. I said, I mean, just the Spirit is telling me the whole time. It was almost like before I even answered the phone. I knew it was a lie. So I said, you're lying. The devil don't like to be called liars. They don't like to be caught with their hand in the cookie jar. You're lying to me. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I just got to bring it to you. I said, no, you're not either. You're lying. Yeah. I said, just keep it yourself. Just keep it. You keep it. Don't bring it. <laughs> you're lying. Some kind of scam. I don't know what, but I didn't get into it. Being a Christian means that we walk to a different tune. It ought to be that people from time to time say, you know what? 
You're different. Mm -hmm. You know, 